Hey guys, Larry and Request 2011 here. So the next Faye channel for February February 1st, 2020 is up and here's our annual here's our usual live reaction. Um I have no idea what to expect. Obviously Choose Your Legends just ended, so they're gonna announce the winners. And we all know it's just three houses just wrecked the polls. Uh like top ten all like the top 10 characters were mostly uh, three houses characters. Self got robbed. I got sent to, uh, I think, third place. Very close to second. But um, I think they're just going to announce the results of the Choose Your Legends. And it looks like uh, I see that they're going to do summoning and a third anniversary. And maybe a new game mode and new awards, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. Flit flat. Flit flat. What? Flit flat. Where's Faye? For you. Ahem. It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance, most esteemed summoners. You may call me Phoenix. Chief Phoenix. Of the Sovereign Order of Avian Reporters. While my subordinate Faye is cavorting on an island getaway, oh, uh, she's on vacation. <laughs> and solemnly sworn duty to share the latest information on the Fire Emblem Heroes game. Four. Yes. Speaking of which, I wanted to share this letter that the little rascal found time to send me between <laughs> naps in the sun. Hello, Chief. I'm taking a well-deserved vacation on a tropical island and teaching one lucky Norian prince how to swim. It's probably pretty cold where you are, but don't worry Leo. about me. It's super warm and sunny here. I won't be able to record the next Faye channel while I'm away, but I got everything all lined up for a great show. As always, I've prepared a bunch of juicy bits of information for our loyal summoners to enjoy. Please make sure Will we get more than 99 stamina or unlimited okay. stamina like Pokemon Masters? This one in your very capable talents, Chief. With that taken care of, it's time for me to get back in the water. But first, maybe a nap. I am on vacation after all. Sincerely, your ever loyal Faye. Yep. My, there goes her to drink. Think that Faye would take the time to update me, even in the midst of a vacation. Such dedication is truly the mark of a proper messenger owl, if I do say so. <laughs> My dear Faye, rest your weary head and worry not for the summoners, for they are in the safety of my guiding talons. Without further ado, steal thyself for a briefing on the latest information on the Fire Emblem Heroes game. It's time for Fey Channel. Now then, today's first topic awaits. Announcing yeah. the results of the Choose Your Legends All right, round four. let the salt event. flow through. I really must thank you, summoners, for your fervent participation. Dimitri Claude, obviously. Pleasure to introduce the four 69 for oh, four. so close to 420. As with previous winners, special versions of these heroes will appear in-game <laughs> in know, the future. Three I houses just destroyed it. To see their new attire. Next on the docket, it's time for the third anniversary celebration. Thanks to the passionate support of summoners like you, the Fire Emblem Heroes game has reached its third anniversary. To celebrate, wow. we will be holding a variety Blue of events beginning ticket. on February 1st. There are nice. quite a few events to cover, but I'll limit my elation and only introduce some of the more notable ones for now. Starting things off, we have a series of third anniversary hero fests. Winners from the previous three Choose Your Legends events will appear in their own hero fest each week. Part one features the winners of the Choose Your Legends round three event, 
and starts at 11 I already got everyone I wanted in that banner. February 1st. Adding to the yeah, excitement, as well as the other banners, I already got everyone I wanted there. First summon tickets for each hero fest just by logging in so. during each event. Yeah. This okay. Is one series of login bonuses that you won't want to miss. I guess they never made uh, summon tickets for me for any banner. Hero battles with accompanying summoning events. Beginning with all Menselica's battle, a total of 18 daily battles will be held. Of course, you can summon on each of these daily summoning events once without using orbs. What's more, daily quests will be available, so even those of you who played the original battles can earn rewards. Are you prepared for more? How about some third anniversary reward maps? These reward maps will be themed on 13 entries in the Fire Emblem series of games and will be made available over a span of 13 days. Let's see here. Since you can attempt each of these maps on both normal and hard difficulties, you can earn up to 26 orbs if you have the gumption to complete them all. Next up is... Fofo! Oh, a snap. guaranteed five-star special hero summoning event. Uh, I can't wait for an assault of N plus two or more. So many special heroes were released between February 1st, 2019 and February 1st, 2020. And you'll have the opportunity to summon one of them. Imagine getting cut on this hell. stone do you desire, I wonder? They should just let us choose one of Lastly, four colors. We're holding another oh, Hero nice. Rises event for the third anniversary. This event will be appropriately titled A Hero Rises 2020. Heroes who have appeared in the Fire Emblem Heroes game until now are eligible to participate in this event. The 2020 edition of the A Hero Rises event is special, however, for it will have eight finalists. And how will we narrow oh, down okay. to one? We had to vote the for them. the finalists duke it out in an in-game voting gauntlet, of course. The lucky hero who manages to make it through the gauntlet unscathed will be gifted to players after the dust has settled. The voting gauntlet will have a special set of guidelines as well. If you've chosen someone to support who you haven't summoned as an ally yet, don't fret. In this voting gauntlet, you can use anyone you like without worrying how it will affect your contribution. It has been my great pleasure to introduce just some of the third anniversary events that are on their way. What could be more exciting than this? Hmm, well... Summoning. It would seem that love is in the oh, yes, Valentine's Day, Day banner. This year's Day All of Celica, festivities I will be already. attended by special heroes from the Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows oh, of the Oh no, I am definitely going to be spending on this banner. One by one. Holding hands with you like this sure brings back memories. Oh, is there a special so outfit? We'll be together now I think you didn't want to get art book. My. Doesn't the sight of this strapping lad and remarkable lass just melt your heart? <laughs> it is my distinct pleasure to present the lovebird duo of Alm and Selica. Reunited at last following a series of trials and tribulations that resulted in the salvation of their homeland of Valentia, these two radiate an effusive joy that I find positively contagious. Oh no, Faye. And I'm taking aim straight at Alm's heart. Don't kill him. This little lady is Faye. Not to be confused with my vacationing counterpart. My sources indicate that the baskets she carries are stuffed full of meat for Alm, the apple of her eye, and him alone. Better than eating flour. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> and stale I bread. I peckish myself. But I've an odd suspicion that she'd be less than willing to share. At best not test my luck. Don't forget about the oranges and ale. I hope oh, everyone snap, enjoys Lucas. the presents I got for them. Say hello.
hello to Conrad. Oh, it's Conrad. This Never mind. Oh, sorry. young man has come prepared with a gift for his younger sister, Selica. Isn't that so kind of him? Putting others before yourself is certainly to be commended. He had a proper upbringing, and it's just now. Sarah Silk and <laughs> Silk and Rudolph. I am Rudolph, Emperor. Oh, stop. He's an all of his. To summon me. What's this? Speaking of proper upbringing, we have the very image of austere authority himself. Rudolph, the Emperor of Regal. Is that a pair of daggers I spot in his hand? Oh, of course. One is for his son, Alm, and the other is for his nephew, Perkut. Both matching, lest one boy become jealous of the other's gift. Hm. Good thinking, your majesty. Yeah. Silk. Would you like a flower? It would look great on you. She looks so good. Finally, we have the ever pious and caring Silk. It seems she's using the Day of Devotion festivities as a chance to repay her comrades for their constant support. Aha! The flowers that she's had. Yeah, she's a snap user, obviously. Of her gratitude. Hmm. I don't suppose she'd have one extra for a certain high ranking, hard working messenger owl, would she? Alm and Selica, Faye, yep. Conrad, definitely and rolling for this banner. In the upcoming special hero summoning event, lovely gifts. Oh, nice. Yeah, five days from now. You can also play the upcoming Tempest Trials Plus event for a chance to make Silk your ally. Oh, she's free. Okay, I don't have to roll. I mean, I, I don't have to. My roll. trusty sources have delivered some breaking news. Starting with this summoning event, one of the four heroes featured will also be available as part of a four-star summoning focus. Oh, thank uh -huh. you, demotes. I've been worthy enough to summon a four-star Conrad. He must be the four-star so focus hero of right this off event. the bat. Off the bat, Going nice. Forward, special hero summoning events and new hero summoning events will feature the appearance rates shown here. It's wonderful to see that new heroes may be easier to summon than they have been. I'm sure Faye will appreciate the new company. Moving right along. Introducing a new. Subscription okay. based service, Fay Pass. Wait, what? In exchange for a set monthly fee, subscribers oh, no. to Fay Pass can enjoy access to five special benefits. I must say, it feels a bit oh, odd no. to introduce the Fay Pass while its namesake is away. I hope Fay won't be upset with me, but no matter. This is positively vital information, and I would be remiss in my duties should I fail to deliver it. The first benefit is... Freezing winds, heed my call! Wait, what? Subscribers will receive resplendent heroes. Resplendent heroes are heroes who are dressed in the resplendent attire of Asker, Niffle, and other regions from the world of Fire Oh Emblem my heroes. god, they really want people As to buy this. As you can see, Lin has donned the sacred another garb of Niffle, Lin the alt. kingdom of ice. Should the resplendent hero version of Lin become your ally, your existing Lin, Lady of the Plains, can also don the resplendent attire. Resplendent heroes feature brand new visuals and voices, but this isn't just a cosmetic change. I'll finish this. For all resplendent heroes enjoy a boost of plus two to each of their stats. Oh boy. Talk about pay to win power Pass subscribers will receive two resplendent heroes per month. That being said, 
Cordelia. I the second resplendent hero could be. Uh, please, allow me a moment to check my sources. Cordelia. I finally feel like a full-fledged member of the Order of Heroes. Oh my! If it isn't Cordelia! He looks good as well. The resplendent versions of Lynn and Cordelia will be distributed during the periods shown here. Note that you will not receive a particular resplendent hero if you are not subscribed to the Fey Pass during their distribution period. So oh keep gosh. the schedule in mind, summoners. Starting in March, a resplendent hero will be distributed to Fey Pass subscribers on the 10th and 25th of every oh month. God. The lineup of upcoming resplendent heroes will be announced on the Fey Pass website. Well, that was something, wasn't it? But we've yeah, got quite a ways yet to go. Yeah, win. The, <laughs> the remaining four benefits are some Whales are laughing. Like, ha, 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 this is great. If used properly, these perks can help enhance your gameplay experience. This bears further investigation. The first perk is special Fey Pass quests. These quests reward you with valuable items such as orbs or heroic grails in exchange for completing tasks. These quests will be made available twice difficult. every calendar month, alongside the resplendent heroes. Oh man. The second perk is expanded summoner support. You'll be able to form summoner support bonds with up to three heroes instead of just one. Okay, that's more if efficient. If you've ever found yourself unable to choose between supporting Alphonse, Shirena, or Anna, then fear not. Now you can support all three. The third perk is why called is it, why aren't they React. By th this uh, perk will yet. allow you to return to the start of your previous turn if your heroes have yet to act at the start of your current turn. However, so basically, if a hero turn has wheel. already acted on your current turn, then you will return to the start of that turn instead. You can use React as many times as you'd like over the course of a battle. Even nice. when confronted with the game over screen. Note that React cannot be used in the Colosseum uh. or Aether raids, but everywhere else is fair game. React seems particularly useful in grand hero battles, does it not? I'm sure you intrepid summoners will find plenty of chances to use it to its fullest potential. The fourth and final perk is called Auto Start. As long as you have stamina remaining, you will be able to play the same map multiple times in a row. Thank you. Just enter a map, set it up like so, and thank tap. you. You're oh my god. This Here is we can so see the helpful. Of times remaining in a session. The game will continue to play automatically until this number reaches zero. Auto start can be used in the training tower, Tempest Trials Plus, Thank you. and Forging Bonds. In Tempest Trials Plus, auto start will automatically switch teams. Phew, that was a lot to divulge, but I think that about covers it. In summation, subscribers to Fey Pass may receive two resplendent heroes each month and enjoy access to four gameplay enhancing perks during the subscription period. Oh my god, we got to pay for this though. <laughs> How silly of me <sighs> to forget! I've gotten you all interested in the Fey Pass and have yet to share the price. You can enjoy all of the benefits that Fey Pass has to offer for. The monthly price shown here. You will be able Not to subscribe bad, to Fate Pass I guess, but... after the release of the version 4.2 update, which is scheduled for February. Uh, 5th. I don't know how I feel about this. My name will be first on the list. Perhaps I should use my sources to put in a good word for a resplendent version of Hector, or Sirius, or maybe Brady. Oh, Serious. <laughs> uh, uh, carrying on. The last one. I would 
would like to congratulate all of you summoners on your excellent work with Mjolnir's strike. I imagine you're more than a little curious about the Divine Code items you've been rewarded. Well, fear not. I called I in a almost few favors I don't just even for think you. I did those. And today that burning question shall finally be put to rest. A new feature that allows you to compile combat manuals will be added to the game as a major part of the version 4.3 update scheduled for this March. Don't we already have combat Even manuals? Faye isn't aware of the details yet, but oh, we've come this far, so I suppose it couldn't hurt to use my chiefly authority to divulge a few more morsels of information. That poor owl is missing out on so much of the excitement. <laughs> right. You will be able to use this feature to take the divine codes that you have collected thus far and compile them into combat manuals of various heroes. Combat manuals are divided into separate paths that must each be unlocked in order. The first combat manual that you unlock in a particular path may not seem like anything special, but you will unlock combat manuals of increasingly strong heroes as you follow the path to its end. Of course, you may begin with any path that you so wish, and you are free to set down a different path after you have already started on another one. There will also be combat manuals that are only available for a limited time. Obtaining these combat manuals will require special divine codes, but they are not part of an unlock path, so you can exchange your hard-earned codes for them straight away. And with that, my beak is sealed! For further information, you'll just have to wait for the version 4.3 update announcement. I do hope this little sneak peek has given you something to look forward to. I say, I'm quite fatigued. How does Faye manage to maintain this level of energy? Well, even the boss needs to step up to the challenge and get his talents dirty every now and again. I hope my very first Fae Channel lived up to your soaring expectations, dear summoners. Ah, oh, but there's one last thing, and Fae would pluck my feathers if I forgot. Our host playing hooky worked hard to gather up some delightful illustrations to celebrate the third anniversary. I can't think of a better way to wrap up our little briefing. By the way, this candy-coated confection is my way of thanking Faye for being such a dedicated worker. It would be in my best interest to keep an eagle eye on it, though. My sources indicate that the ever-famished Effie is roaming the halls of the castle, and she's out for a snack. And with that, it is time for you and I to part. Fare thee well, dear summoners! Flit flot! Flit flot! Flit flot! I see the uh... Oh, Sal is the first ever to do Dorcas in the AR dude. Alright, that's 
it, guys. Flip. So obviously, first out the winners for the Future Legends: Lysity, Ilgar, Lysity, and Dimitri Claude. No surprise there. Three Houses was super popular, and these guys are. His characters are really popular. I mean, you had the three. The three lords of the uh, houses. Elgard tank, Dimitri freaking maps like Elgard the uh, tank with high defense, Dimitri the monster that freaking destroys everyone in his path, Claude who basically is a dodge tank, can dodge anything thrown at him, and with fail knock can sh like do a lot of damage. And then like Scythia, it was like a magical Swiss army knife swap. Uh, War, I mean, Warp, uh, Dark Spikes, uh, Notice for Odd 2, Seraphim, and the Heroes Fest daily bonus, like a bunch of other rewards, uh, different sun banners. Um, the reward maps are back. Uh, guaranteed summoning, voting gauntlet, uh, and then the Shadows of Valencia, um, Tempest Trials, and Summoning Banner. So glad Silk is uh, free. I might roll for all and Silk. Uh, I mean, I might just roll for this banner, and obviously, Silk is there. Uh, I really don't know. I want Silk. I'll just uh, do the event for her, I guess. I don't know, but at the same time, I want to roll on the banner. Uh, let's see how many ores I have first. I might skip it depending on how many ores I have since I'm planning on saving up for uh, Choose Your Legends. And then we have this like season pass where you're guaranteed uh, another Lin alt. I'm pretty sure Zork Monster Hunter is very happy about this, but uh, another Lin alt. I know some people are upset about that. And then you have Cordelia. Uh, Lynn is wearing the Niffle outfit and Cordelia has the Asker outfit. Very nice designs by the way. I'm not sure if I'm even gonna buy the pass. And then uh, more quests and then you can uh, just uh, do three supports at the same time so you can just fill your team with three characters you want to support with and you can um, pretty much uh, support all three at once. Uh, so basically, this is like uh, Divine Pulse. And this is a great way to grind. Um, let's see here. Uh, there are certain uh, sanctuary battles where if you grind them uh, like five times, you get uh, orbs. And then, so that's the uh, Fate Pass, and it's uh, 9.49 a month. After that, it's the Combat Manual update. I've never used the Combat Manuals before, so I don't know too much about this. And then, here's like, just like said, the uh, 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 sprite art, so they're planning on releasing her soon. I know Chaz is super excited about that. <laughs> and then all these nice artworks. Oh, I didn't notice Finn was there. So, Tia Barn, Kieran, Faye, Faye and Silk, uh, Eden, Faye and Fa, Rutger, um, Rutger, Kieran, Finn, Lucius, uh, I guess Roderick, uh, Gordon, and, um, uh, Drog. Please. 
Claude, Lysithia, uh, Hilda. I'm guessing that's Bruno, Ryoma, Hubert, um, Yarn, Faye, uh, Echidna, and what's his name? Nyla. And it looks like he's they're thinking about eating Faye. Poor Faye. Uh, Hector, Lilina, Elliewood, uh, Pent, Louise, Faye. What's his name? Uh, uh, shoot. Dozo, Ike, Makaya, Yune, uh, Kanegas, um, oh, oh man, I forgot her name. Altair, uh, Altia, I think Altia. And then Pione. Larsai, Naga, Perku, Rhea, Evo, Perku, and Rhea. Um, Keaton, uh, Shannon, Grima, Grima Robin, and then uh, Arden and Dorcas is uh, artist. I know um, Garnef, uh, Travon. Um, I'm guessing this is Edelgard's dad. Or wait. I have no idea who this is. And here are the Tokyo Mirage Session characters. Don't know too much about them since I've never played this game and nor do I have a Wii U. So yeah. That's it guys, um, overall it's an okay stream, nothing too crazy, but at least we got something is better than nothing. Um, thanks for watching guys, if you liked the video please like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time, bye.